So now's a good time because there's no rain and there's no music, so now you should do it. Well, to be different from everybody else is a good start. Um, um, well, um, well, Um Famous for the key mixing, so instead of mixing only by beat, 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 beat I mix records by key. Back from 20 years ago, I used to write the key on every record. So sometimes it's different tempo, but same key. You understand? So if it's music playing and it's loud, it can be. You can call it anything you want. Even though there's still, over time, more and more people like worse and worse music, like, you know, as time changes and they, they find out about other music, but still there's new people in Estonia who like good music. I don't know, maybe I'm talking rubbish. But... My music says that live your life and do whatever you like and just don't give a fuck. Tonight was sort of like a uh, last ditch effort to save my set. Um, when I DJ, just something that people will like not be mad at me for. I guess like just play something that's like danceable, but people aren't gonna be like, oh, that's too cheesy. <laughs> I'm not like a concentrated DJ. I try to crystallize certain experiences in my life and uh, present them as something with an opinion. You know, like, so like, I've had these experiences, I have an opinion on them, and hopefully my music is that idea. I get my rhymes straight out of my head, man. Things, movements, people, weathers, different kinds of weed, drugs, girls, just everyday tasks, man. My long brown hair and my big white lips. Guess who's back? I've been there mixed for my long brown hair and my big white lips. The year was great. Listening to Dixie's Jimi Hendrix, man, you feel me? Ravers came in the 1950s, 60s, when the first teenagers, they called them rave, yeah. Ravers. You know. Ravers, yeah. It's a good name. I suppose when you say rave, people expect a bit more, you know, energy and stuff. Yeah. 
you're always learning something. I tell you, you don't get good at this till you've been doing it for 20 years, you know, and you're always learning something. And if you think you can't learn anything new, then then you're wrong, <laughs> because you always learn. Because every party is different, and every country is different. If it's not creative anymore, then what's the point? I would hate to be in a band and then you have a hit and then you've got to play that hit every night for the next 20 years. <laughs> I would be so bored, you know? <laughs> Being a DJ, you don't have to play the same records. You can always play different records, and you don't even have to play the same style. I play all kinds of different tempos, and yeah, I like to... I wouldn't like to fuck it up, but I like to surprise people, yeah. I mean, uh, don't be predictable. Maybe 5,000 records a week come out now, so it doesn't have to be everybody playing the same thing. More than you can ever listen to. So I think nobody can hear it all now. There's just too much electronic music. But sometimes I like to put messages into a, into a set. Often I use spoken word. Sometimes I use comedy stuff. But it's harder. Depends if you're in an English-speaking country, you can play all English records. People understand it. Maybe here, not everyone speaks English. So maybe I don't use don't use so much of that. When I'm when I'm in Japan, I use Japanese speech. I think uh, keep on bringing independent artists here, you know, instead of pay a fortune for one commercial DJ, you can get a lot of really good independent acts. DJ try to get into the music. If you play dance music, it's nice to play it on rider because it's the way it should be played. I boost the high frequency on the mixing deck itself because vinyl does not reach so high as yeah. digital in high frequency. That's why it's nice to listen to classical music in high frequency, you know. There would be no drum and bass, there wouldn't be break beat because that's from us. You know, we started all of that. I just like um, people to understand what, where we're from and what the label's been doing because we've been going for 24 years now. It's only a rock smoke. wanted to get a record deal and nobody liked us, they thought, what the fuck is this? Because we was a hip-hop band, it was me, PJ, who's gone up the beach, 
and DJ Height, he's a big drum and bass DJ and we're all together, we're still together, but everyone was like, what is this, this is, like, this is madness. I always believe that in, in this business, you've you got to work hard. There's not such thing as magic. There's not such thing. The point is, you work hard and then it will come. 